is the March 2nd, 2023 meeting of the Capital Improvement Planning Committee. Uh, I want to thank everybody for being here. Uh, I don't know if you're prepared for the storm that's coming Friday, Saturday, and I had to man. take you up a little bit, but I appreciate everybody showing up here. Mm -hmm. um, Gary just informed me that he needs to have a meeting with us. Um, hopefully now we can do this the third Thursday of this month uh, if everybody can make it because it has to do with some capital funding issues that we really need to be aware of and since this was an emergency meeting so the 16th I'm hoping we can do that yeah I think so we, just, we already had that on the calendar I think. Uh, for March 16th yeah. yes we did yeah but I gotta let Gary know so if we're okay for that still yeah all right, because we only did three months, so we're going to have to go out March, April, May, June, and that would finish the year. I think I'll be here. <laughs> I'm having my kitchen redone the 16th and 17th. And no, they, that'll take at least three months, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> no, the, this, they're going to do 12-hour dates, both days. Wow. And uh, so as long as Michelle is there. Okay. Uh, let's see. All right, next. 3.16, Be in the library again here. Uh, okay, any any remarks from anybody who would like to make any remarks before we uh, move into uh, the minutes and the old business? No? No, all good. Okay, uh, let me look at the minutes. This is really the last time we've met. Yeah. It seems like we've met since then. I would yeah. think that we no. I, we've had COVID meeting. We've had COVID. We had to postpone for. Yeah. We had people not showing up. We had weather. Uh, it's been brutal. I'll make a motion to accept the minutes from Thursday, September fourteenth. Oh yeah, I, you didn't even see. I haven't seen them yet. No. Oh, oh sorry. Yeah. This this was going back to the meeting we had with uh, Becky came in and was filling us in. Oh right. Together. That was a while. You can, I mean, it's, there's not much there, you know. I just Because uh, that's what I sent this week. Yeah, no, there's no way we're ever right. Okay, then you're looking at something I didn't send this week. Oh, okay. Because that, that was on the email that I sent it to okay, me. Okay, I just gave it. Okay. I'll give it for I just wanted to double check. You know what? I uh, I know I have it at the house, so I can email it. Okay. All right. Just a brief summary of the meeting. <laughs> With the all the meetings are online now, so just a typo spelling on Joe at the bottom. Oh yeah, <laughs> <laughs> missed that one. Geo. See, I have to put one in. Every all the meetings. Just to make sure you guys are paying attention. That's right. <laughs> and then I think there's one typo in the the second to last bullet point. It says instead of debt service, I think it says D E B S. Oh service. yeah. Debt service. Okay. All right, Joe. You had made a motion before. Mm -hmm. uh, with corrections. Okay. Uh, any discussion? Very none. Do we uh, have a second? I'll second. Okay. Very good. All in favor? Aye. 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 Thank you. Okay. <laughs> um, couple of little housekeeping here now that we're through the minutes. One is um, Joe wants us to have Becky there uh, for. Uh, that meeting on the 16th, so I'll contact her to see if she can be here. Um, I don't know if you want, with our recommendations going forward, if we want to invite anybody from the select board for that meeting or for finance committee. I guess I have a stupid question before we even talk about it. Okay. Do we have anything that's been submitted? Nothing. We so we don't have much to talk about. Uh, the only thing we have <laughs> is one item that that Gary, I mean, Gary, Joe just sent us was a street sweeper. Um, you can 
take a look. I printed it out. I just got it, so. No. Uh, where is it? Is it new? Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, 237. Wow. I'm looking over it. It's a used one. He's buying it on a used list, oh. I guess, or something. I didn't have a chance to really read it good. Uh, uh, but it, uh, it, what is it? 257, 932, or 237, something like that. That it is. Um, brooms, auto shutdown. It's got alarms on it. Additional manuals, conveyor, elevator. You can take a look here. Uh, prices are limited to. But this is the thing that Gary was talking about with me earlier a little bit. That we want to see if we can get that on for this list. To get that approved under the well, right now it's the only thing. Huh? <laughs> right now it's the only thing. <laughs> I know. Well, unless people are looking at that five-year capital plan, because I was going to review that um, before I came here on that uh, the uh, building facilities report uh, to see if there's anything on there. Uh, but uh, we're buildings and that stuff right now concerned. I think there's more pressing. At least what I got from Gary, there's more pressing issues on facility property. Um, uh, you know, whether it be uh, equipment, vehicles, uh, brush sweepers, trucks, uh, it is more important. Everybody knows we've got a check for the Rutland Heights Hospital, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Was that 1.4 or something like that? Uh, I don't know, 1.2? 1.4 was it? Oh, do you yeah, it wasn't that. I don't know the number. I, think. I thought it was 1.4. Yeah, I could be. Uh, I just okay. saw a little blurb in the paper. Yeah, that's uh, that's the basically. Uh, they're going to be setting up two funds for that, so we don't have to get it certified because that cash is available from an equity sale. So that's a good thing. We'll be able to use the money right away um, on that. I wouldn't have known what it would have cost. Huh? I would have had no idea what a sweeper would have cost. Uh, you know, I don't know. I mean, I know it's fully loaded with heated, heated seats and CD player and all that stuff. I don't think it's used, though, is it? No, it says new. It says, new. Yeah, new. Yeah. I thought uh, buying it changed. off the bid list, I guess, or something. So I, I don't know if that's the way they come now or if that's the way it was made that's available. You don't have to wait two years in order to buy something. Yeah. I didn't read into that yet. Uh, that'll be discussed. Uh, that will be discussed on the 16th when we've had more time and get and I have a chance to talk to Joe and find out why. You know if that's his only option. Okay. Review new capital submissions for 2023. Uh, Gary asked me if we got anything in. He hasn't seen anything. So at this point, what we got here is the only thing that I can see. I haven't heard from uh, Fire Chief. That's unusual that he hasn't requested anything, but we pretty much think we've pretty much funded all his big projects except for the truck. Did, did a memo go out to all departments? Asking, I know the memo for the annual town meeting warrant went out. Yeah. But that wasn't specific to capital type well, requests. Gary had said to me, he says, uh, you know, I didn't get anything back. Did you guys get anything back? And I said, no, we didn't. So I'm assuming he did send something out for them. That was to be the plan at our last meeting. Yeah. That's what he was going to send them all out. Yeah. Right. And then I never, maybe, I don't know if anybody was copied on it or. I, know, I didn't maybe, see a request. Maybe he just did it direct. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I didn't see anything on it either. So what does he specifically want to talk about at this meeting? And he wants Becky there too? I don't, I don't know if. I can say anything here because he had a plan of action I think he wanted to bring up at the meeting okay. versus because he was just giving me sound bites and I don't want to say anything that isn't appropriate. Okay. You know, for, so he just said he'd like to meet with us uh, and I said the 16th. Mm -hmm. uh, that okay. There were some things that did not get funded. Moving on. Um, well, first off, let me back up a second. Do we, we haven't had any really information on the street sweeper, so my feeling is we don't need to rate it tonight. Mm. Okay, because we don't have enough information on it yet. Everybody agree? Yeah. I think we would want to talk to Joe about that. Yeah. Okay. Um, what about, uh, 
some of the old stuff that's still on there that has not gotten made the recommendation list that we need to go through on the 16th, prepare to re redo those and see where they fit in now. I think, the reason I say that is I get the feeling that Gary is looking for us to make some recommendations that can fill an agenda. Uh, in other words, we need to spend some money that we have because we don't want it to get lost. So we need to spend it on town stuff. But beyond that, I have no idea. Okay. So just keep in mind for the 16th. I'll get more information from them. So that's previous requests that never got funded. We put them on the recommendation list, though, but they didn't get funded. So should we be reviewing those on the 16th? Okay. In, uh, for our next recommendation, for 2024. Uh, I mean, the big thing that comes to my mind is, um, you know, I saw an email about wanting to move the regional dispatch center into the annex, which would require renovations to the town hall. Right. So I saw that, but we haven't seen any detail on that. So no. there's not much we can talk about. I'm assuming Gary wants to talk about that on the 16th. Right, right. We must talk about that. Then the other thing that comes to mind is when we met last year and we were looking at all those facility type things. Yeah. Um, one really stuck out to me, and that was the one having to do with the water problem at the public safety building. And if I recall, the plan was to spend some money on doing a a study to determine the the extent and the scope of the problem. Okay. But there's been no money appropriated to actually do the construction to fix the problem once it's been identified. Yeah. And to me, that's that's a huge thing that we'd want to allocate some money for, right. um, because we don't want to spend money on a study and have it sit in a shelf and the building still leaks. Right. Um, so to me, that that would be a big thing. I haven't seen any paperwork or mm. documentation. I don't know if the study's been done. I don't know. I don't but that's certainly something that was a big problem when we talked about facilities. Um, I think the other thing that we talked about when it came to facilities was a lot of the, um, you know, envelope outside structures of the different buildings. Another one right. that comes to mind is is the um, senior center on Glenwood. Right. Um, you know, we talked siding, we talked windows. I think the roof was done, um, but they those got a types of things. there, I think, too. Yeah. yeah, yeah, and I think a bathroom got done just be through an insurance claim on on an accident that happened in the building too. But I think there's still plenty of other things like that out there. So, again, it all comes down to the details of what's been gathered as far as costs go and studies and everything else. Right. So, okay. to me, all those things would be on the table. And then, like last year, we had a bunch of stuff that did come to us and we raided but didn't make the cut. Right, that's <laughs> right. right. Um, so if we if we go through the list, we had a lot of parking lot stuff, right, from, from like the, the lot behind Town Hall to the school building parking lots. Those were all talked about. We talked about a bond for the parking lots. I wish we had a nickel for every time we mentioned the parking lot. Yeah, I know, lot. <laughs> I know. So, I mean, this is all stuff that it, it's, if, if <laughs> you know, I don't know what the intent of, the Heights property money is. It sounded like there's still ARPA funds out there yep. that um, need to be allocated, and so that's on the table. Yeah. I mean, I don't think we have any shortage of stuff we can talk through as far yeah. as um, items that have been submitted in the past or items that were identified on that facility study. So yeah, I think uh, for the major stuff, I think we're in pretty good shape in the town for what we need to spend money on. We know in two years. Uh, there's going to have to be a check or a bond package for the fire truck. We know that's going to be there in two years, three years. So uh, I don't know where that fits into our recommendations because we haven't gotten anything else from Seth yet. So uh, as far as when he's going to do that. Well, I'm just looking through this book and uh, Joe had the Santa listed for 23 in here. Yeah, FY23 last year, right? Right. Yeah. Right. We waited a year. I don't think we got that, did we? No. No. This okay. I don't, I'm trying to, did we even read it last year? I don't no. remember reading We that. didn't, we didn't have, we it rated a plow, I think. Yeah, we did. Yeah. We, we rated the ones that we approved last year, if I'm looking at the list. 
You know what? Let me pull up our letter. I, I got to find the letter that we submitted last year um, with our recommendations. Yeah. It's probably the letter you're thinking of. Yeah, that's the one I'm thinking of. You know what? If you could, email, yeah, they are. Yeah. if you could email that to everybody, Joe, so we have that for the 16th. So what we recommended, this is FY23 recommendations. This letter is dated April 27th of 2022. Okay. So we did the breathing air compressor, <clears throat> which I, I, I don't know what happened there. I, whether it was paid out of opera or there was a grant or something. I, I think there was a grant for the breathing yes. apparatus. You're not talking about the uh, air air compressor. Breathing air compressors, yes. Oh, the, the air Bre compressor. Breathing air compressors and filling stations. I don't think. God. I th yeah, I think he did get that. I, I think, I think that was he did. Rant. Then the other one was the Woodhouse structural repairs. Yes, yeah. Then the other one was the saw truck, including the plow. Um, then number four was a used five ton dump truck with sander and plow. Yeah. yeah. And then um, the fifth one was the second half of the wood Woods House roof repair. Mm -hmm. And then the sixth one was Wachusett Regional School District replacement of NAQUAG electrical switch gear. So that was FY23. Okay. Um, so the things that were still on the table from FY23 is all the lots. Um, We talked about town hall compliant designs. I think that referenced ADA compliance in town hall. Um, they never got the cleaning truck, did they? We didn't rate that, did we? I mean, we didn't put that on the recommendation. It, it was it was rated low. Yeah. It, um, you know, the things that passed, if we go back, they rated in the neighborhood of... Um, 30 points, 27 The points. high was 46 points, then we had 41 points, and yep. the low was somewhere in the neighborhood. Oops, I'm sorry, that's the wrong letter. <laughs> I mean, we had brush chipper, DPW plow update, facility HVAC repairs. Yeah, 40 points, 37 yeah, points. Yeah, and they were, they, were all, they were lower. Yeah, and then uh, the DPW service done. van was the lowest. 27. Rate. Yeah. 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 Um, the, there was a brush tripper, uh, chipper. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there was all the there was a lot of library um, repairs, which we didn't rate at all, yeah. um, because right. they were on the facilities list that we were trying to get everyone to prioritize. Right. Um, so really, we don't have a lot of major stuff to carry over. Well, the lots is major. Yeah. Um, yeah. Some of the you know like the public safety leak issue. Th there's a lot of. There's about $100,000 worth of library various repairs, whether it's ex outside painting or rotting or envelope or drainage or whatever the case might be. So this, so there was some pool stuff. Um, I'm sorry, the library was 155. Then there's another 95 for the library. I don't know why it's split in two numbers, but so that's a big number for the library. Um, so there's still some big stuff out there. That that stuff was came out to like 1.4 million total that we found as high priority items on the facilities report. Okay. Well, that's I think that might be what we're going to be asked to look at on yeah. the 16th to fill in yeah. those blanks. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, okay. Not the first time we've been asked to look, and we'll look and <laughs> look again. Um, okay. Uh, any. Uh, Anything else regarding, uh, as you see that you go around, stuff that you think we should be looking at? You know, when you walk, when you go around town, it's like, I mean, the move from the uh, annex to the town hall is going to be major. There's going to need an elevator and a total rebuild of the third floor. So. To me, that, pro that, that, I don't know, maybe I'm speaking ignorantly but based on anything I've ever seen having to do with the town hall over the years and you know I'm going back 20 25 years because that's been talked about forever um, you, you're not talk, paying cash for that that's a bond I mean that's a big that's a big project if you're gonna do something in that building and you're gonna do it right you're looking at 10 20 million dollars you're talking big money right and you're not gonna pay it out of pocket for that Right. So that that's a big project. I don't know what everyone's looking at when it comes to that, but it's to me that's a huge undertaking. Well, the, the they they want to move. 
I, I guess the the annex has to the dispatch has to go to the annex. There's just absolutely no more room there for anybody in the safety building. So the best thing you can do is move the dispatch. The only place they can move that is to the annex. Well, if you move the people out of the annex, we don't have another right. building. It's got to go there. So in the meantime, how do you band-aid this thing mm -hmm. to get that move done? And I think that's what you're looking at. I agree with you, Joe. I mean, mm -hmm. that's a 10 to $20 million project to read. I mean, they have no air conditioning in there. Well, you don't that, have access. You don't have bathrooms. I, I, that's what I mean. There's not so it has to be completely almost gutted and redone. But in the process, where do you move the people to do that when you're construction? You know, so unless you... I mean, it should be done. There is no doubt. It's it's long overdue. It should be done, and it should be done right. Right. But I know it's a tough sell. But we also have, you know, we've had this conversation. We've got debt falling off the books in the coming years, and if we do it right and we align it, there won't be a huge impact to the tax rate. Right. And we know a lot of debt has already fallen mm -hmm. off. I mean, you know, we've gone from, I think, somewhere in the tune of about uh, one million... One point some million dollars a year of debt down to about six hundred thousand. So that's a lot of capital for debt that is can be replaced. We got a lot of we got a lot of debt we can borrow. I don't know how we are on the uh, on the levy, but we certainly have some debt room there that we can borrow on. Okay. Um, Anything else from the last couple of months that you guys think we need to discuss? I've been racking my brain over that. I don't know. I'm just going through the different and stuff, might have divisions and stuff. I know that. So we're going to try to get Joe here the 16th to yeah. talk about that. And that way we'll be ready to. to yeah. That afterwards. Because of the sweeper, I think we're going to need to be here. Becky's going to be here to talk about the debt mm -hmm. uh, because we need to talk about that in terms of the town hall if they're going to make the move. How's that going to work? And then the what the cost would be to, I don't know if they need to revamp. I can't imagine them because they have so many rooms over there now, but to revamp the uh, annex for dispatch because they need to move all their electrical equipment, all their computers, everything has to be moved over there to the annex. So I don't know how computer savvy that place is. So that's going to be a cost item to do that. That if that yes, there will be, but that should also be apportioned across the region. That yeah. shouldn't be all Rutland. Right. Right. Because there are what three towns, four towns. Yeah. No, they're, they're what five. Five towns. You got Oak I don't know. I keep growing. It's five or six. Oak Camp, Barry, Hubbardston. good. We don't do Sterling. No. We don't do Holding. Paxton. Right? Paxton. No, Paxton is part of Holden, I think. Is it? Yeah. We don't have Paxton. But it's still a... It, it's still several towns. It gets a portion across the towns. Yeah. Right. Right. Yeah. Okay. It's funny that these different districts and they, you know, the school districts are the... Yeah, the, different the, regions. The and they're, they're all a, a different cluster of towns. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I just think of, we've got the... Uh, Dispatch. Mm -hmm. Then we've got fire, that has an override among the towns. Animal control. And, and then we have animal control. control. And, and then we have now. the senior center, which pulls from other towns. It's like it's actually good though. You know, it makes a lot of sense to be pooling resources like that. Oh yeah. <laughs> yep. So, uh, okay. Paul doesn't agree. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. They're gonna chuckle. <laughs> it depends how much we get from the other ones, yeah. I guess. Uh, yeah. Um, what are those gonna do? Oh, okay. Any old, any other old business? No, I, I guess it's just a case we really want to confirm with Gary. I, it probably did, but I'd feel better him saying yes. We sent a notice mm -hmm. <laughs> to collect requests, and we haven't gotten anything. I, you know, just right. to double check that we right. sent it out. Okay. <laughs> Um, yeah, I'm, I'm surprised we haven't heard from fire. You know, I, I, again, not being disparaging in any way, but when Ron put together that five year, I think people took it to believe that, well, we're going to do this, so in year 2024, this is going to come up to be voted on. Yeah. 
You know what I'm saying? So yeah, it was I, a guide and it was a good book, but right, it also was, I think, discussed and assumed that it also changes because it, needs change and priorities right. change and. And it kind yeah. of distorted the process a little, a little bit, bit, you know. So well, that's, you know, I think we're fighting back from that too. Okay, any new business? I did not expect it to be this short a meeting. Yes, yeah, so we haven't met since we We'll take care of it next time. <laughs> no, really. I mean. Uh, uh, it, uh, it sounds like the meeting on Monday with the select board, there's some conversation there yeah. that maybe will play into what we have to talk about on the 16th. That, 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 yeah, because yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Gary's going to be there to talk, and like FinCom, somebody from FinCom will be there, I guess, so it's a general meeting on Monday night. Somebody from every committee. Yeah. Did he say, you said you were going? Yeah. Uh, is that going to take place in the select room? Uh, one room? more. Okay. One one. What's that? Yeah, yes. well. yes, yes. Okay, thanks, thanks, Paul. Um, okay, okay, recommendations to select board and finance committee. Obviously, now that's changed. We can't do that. I know finance committee was looking for that, uh, wondering where it was. Uh, normally, we don't get it. It's early right now, anyway. Normally, we don't get it to the month. We've tried one 12, 12 years ago, 2008. So that was what, 12, 13, 14, 15 years ago? <laughs> okay, 15 years ago. We tried to establish a middle of the February, February 15th, to get it out. We quickly found with the requests coming in late, not being able to do our due diligence properly, it ended up being in March. I think even when we did April. Last year was April. Right. So the end of April. So, you know, we, we just couldn't get it out because of the way things were working. But I, but I'd like to get back on at least the middle of March, mm -hmm. going forward. So pushing these guys to get their stuff in. Well, that sounds like that'll be a busy meeting in a couple of weeks. Yeah. Yep. Okay. I have an easy one tonight, but I'll make up for it then. Uh, anything else? You want? Again, I know it's uh, been a past time, so we'll pick up and move forward from here mm -hmm. on that. Uh, hearing no other uh, new business, do I have a motion to adjourn? Unless you have some discussion, more discussion. I'll make, make a motion to adjourn. Okay. Second. Second. Any other discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 So moved. Boy, that was